lecture 37. In this lecture, I will be showing a design of a simple alarm system using touch sensor. Okay. So, uh, let us think of a scenario that uh, you are out of your house during a summer vacation for a long time and uh, then uh, you, I mean of course securities are always there in places but still theft occurs, right. So, in any way uh, if you know that there are certain points in your house through which person can enter. One is of course the door, uh, there is a lock and someone has to break that lock and you have to enter or it could be from some windows. Okay. Anyway, you have to break that window. Okay. So, any vulnerable point anywhere in your house, you can consider that for using this uh, particular device, which is nothing but a touch sensor. You can put that touch sensor in those places and uh, if somebody touches there, okay, of course, it will, uh, it should not work when you are touching it. So, it should run according to, you have to make the application in such a fashion that it should work, let us say when you are during that uh, summer vacation, it should work from this day to that day. Okay? Uh, so, accordingly you can have a system where you can uh, put this touch sensor, along with the touch sensor you have to make the application where whenever somebody touches that touch sensor, then an SMS alert will be sent to your mobile. Okay? And then you can make an app, if an SMS you are getting from that particular number, an alarm system will glow, uh, will be, uh, will come uh, from your app. Okay? It will send an alarm system, let us say some kind of sound can come up. Or it can also happen that you are staying in a flat where if somebody touches an alarm will be uh, blown and uh, the alarm system will be uh, hearable by any other person around. Let us say it happens in the night, the at maybe the security is sleeping, then also he will be able to know that something wrong is going on through that alarm system. Okay? So, I will be discussing about uh, this particular thing here uh, that whenever an unwanted person touches that uh, your door uh, at some particular point of time when you are not there then uh, an SMS alert will be sent. So, in the previous example what we did we were sending an SMS from a mobile to your system and that is making uh, the bulb glow on and off. But here what we are doing here if the system analyzes that there is a mm, theft or something like that then the system will send the SMS to a particular number. Okay? So, let us uh, see um, that what is there. So, we will talk about the touch sensor. The sensor interfacing will be straightforward. We have been working with so many sensors. So, this is fairly straightforward. The experiment uh, using this touch sensor and GSM, mo GSM module will be doing this. And finally, I will demonstrate. So, as I said this experiment demonstrate another application of home automation system, it could be integrated uh, for, the, for the security aspect. So, this is related to home security, where an automated alarm generation system that warns the owner of the house whenever an unauthorized access takes place. Okay? So, whenever an unauthorized access takes place, it will SMS it. And Again, you have to make your system accordingly that if you are sitting or uh, sleeping in the night and you receive an SMS and you do not respond, then you have to make something or the other such that it should, uh, the alarm system should make other person know that something is happening in your house. How is unauthorized access detected? So, here the unauthorized access is detected through a touch interface circuit which is similar to a 
car intrusion alarm system. Somebody touches your car and that alarm will uh, glow, some sound will come up. Okay. So, what happens after the detection? So, after the detection a suitable alarm system can be activated and the owner can be alarmed by sending an SMS from, uh, on his or her mobile phone. So, this is uh, the touch sensor that we have used. There is a BCC, this is ground and this is the signal output that is coming here. And uh, this is TTP223B, uh, uh, this, is the, this is there and this is the area. If you touch either this part or if you touch from below also, it will work. So, the touch sensor module contains uh, this ttp 22 3B which is a one key touch pad detector IC. Okay. This is an integrated chip which is a one key touch pad detector and it is suitable to detect capacitive element variations. Okay. The module has a 5 volt power supply input and a ground and a digital signal output that indicates the presence or absence of the touch. Okay. So, the digital signal output uh, is there which indicates the presence of this or absence of this touch. So, the experiment uh, we have uh, done using the Arduino board uh, where we connect this touch sensor and the GSM module and the microcontroller continuously it pulls the touch sensor to find out whether there is an intrusion or not. Uh, and if so, a suitable message is sent to the concerned person over SMS. An alarm system is also activated. So, we have simulated the alarm system using the buzzer, uh, using the speaker that we have already discussed earlier, a siren like sound will come in and uh, we have also sent an SMS with uh, some code like theft alert. Okay? This is the circuit diagram. Uh, so, this is ground, this is Rx, this is Tx which is connected to Arduino pin 10 and 11 and we have connected this signal to A0 pin and this BCC to 5 volt and ground to the ground of the Arduino. This is the touch sensor and we have also connected an alarm system. To simulate the alarm system here we have used a speaker. Uh, the speaker is connected to pin D2 and uh, this is connected to the ground. Now, here goes the code for Arduino Uno. For Arduino Uno, we already know how we have to make the software serial connection. So, we are making with uh, pin number 10 and 11 and the analog port we are using A0. Initially, the touch value we are assigning it to 0. In the setup phase, uh, we use myserial.begin for this particular serial communication with the GSM and this is for the, uh, for the serial communication with the screen uh, that is there with a particular delay and we are making this pin mode 2 to the output. Uh, we are making pin number 2 as an output port and we are writing a uh, high digital value here in port 2 in the uh, in this setup phase. So, setup phase is fairly straightforward which we have already seen for the home automation. So, it is quite similar here. Now, in the loop phase what we have to do? In the loop phase we will read the value from the analog pin through which that signal is connected to the touch sensor and then we are printing the touch value. What value we are getting? You can see that in the serial monitor. So, in the Arduino it is already there, you can have to just connect serial dot print, then the touch value will come in and then we are giving a backslash n. Now, if the touch value is greater than some, some value that is 1000 here, then we send the message and then we are writing in digital write 2 to low and we uh, provide a delay of let us say uh, 2000 millisecond that is 2 second basically and then again we digital write 2 to low after that. Okay. 
So, let us uh, now uh, this is all about the code that we are sending SMS. Now, what this send SMS function will do we will see in the next part. So, this is the send SMS part. So, in the previous example uh, what we did we received the SMS. Okay. So, we received the SMS then we cut out some part and then we did the needful. Now, here we have to send the SMS to a particular number. So, in that case you have to use this particular AT command that is necessary. So, the AT command that is necessary sorry. So, the AT command that is necessary is AT plus CMGF equals to 1. Okay. Then we give a delay of 1 second and then again with my serial dot print ln we are sending another AT command where we are providing the mobile number to which the SMS will be sent. Okay. So, you have to provide that mobile number here. Then we again give a delay of 100 millisecond and we send the SMS. First, we initialize for sending SMS, then we set the number to which we have to send the SMS and then we send the exact SMS. The exact SMS here emergency theft alert, it will be sent to your mobile. And again with the delay, we are providing print ln this total characters. So, if you count this, this, this is the characters we are sending and with this delay this goes on. Okay. So, this goes on means this is the send message function where the following codes must be executed for sending a message from the microcontroller system from that uh, application that you have built to another mobile number. Okay. So, this is all about the code. Now, we will look into the interfacing part. So, how do I interface this? So, let us see that. Okay, so in today's experiment, uh, we will be interfacing uh, a touch sensor. I have already discussed about the feature of this touch sensor that I will be interfacing today, but I will again uh, uh, tell you little more about like uh, where you can use this touch sensor. So, one example could be like let us say you are again not there in your house for a long period and there is always a possibility that theft occurs in places. Okay. So, you can actually keep this uh, touch sensor okay, in number of places, uh, especially uh, in the place of the lock. So, whenever uh, a person will have to take out your lock or have to break your lock, that person will have to touch those portions. right? So, in some way or the other, if we can do this that the touch sensor is properly, properly implemented uh, in that way, then it will be uh, very much convenient. So, let us see how I can interface uh, this touch sensor. Prior to that, what I will be doing in today's experiment is that uh, when I will touch the touch sensor, then an SMS alert will go from um, the GSM board to my mobile. Okay. This is uh, the first thing uh, that will happen and at the same time uh, when the message is sent. Uh, to make sure that the message has been sent, I have also kept an LED, the LED will glow. Okay. So, now I will do the connection uh, for this experiment. This is the touch sensor. Okay. So, similar to other sensor, this also has got three pins, one is ground, next one is BCC and the next one is the output signal that is the analog signal. So, this is basically the touch sensor 
and this touch sensor works from both side if you touch from this side as well you or if you touch from this side. So, I will be first connecting this touch sensor. Uh, so, one I will be connecting to BCC and one to ground and one to the analog port. Analog port that I will be using is A, A 0. Okay. So, let me and this uh, from the board I have already taken this common point one is my BCC another one is my uh, this point is my BCC with this pin through the board I have taken and uh, this one is the ground. Okay. So, let me first connect this. So, the left one is the ground. Then the next one is BCC and the next one is to analog port A 0. Okay. Is the connection clear? So, these are the three things that I am connecting to the common points. These are the common points. Now, I, as I said I have also connected an LED. So, LED this is the anode and from this point I will connect to pin 2 of this digital pin. So, this is just for the checking purpose that the message has been sent or not. And now, how the message will be sent that will that is through the GSM module. We have already worked upon how this GSM module works. So, this is connected to the uh, ground and uh, the other two pins, the first one is the T x which will be connected to pin number 10 accordingly the way we have done this T x will be connected to pin number 10. Rx is connected to pin number 11. Please recall in that uh, bulb on and off through SMS control what we were doing? We were sending an SMS from our mobile to this GSM and then whatever we received based on that uh, this microcontroller was operating right but uh, now is just the opposite whatever data or this this is the touch sensor when i touch this if i touch this an sms alert from this gsm will be sent to my mobile number okay so uh, now, I will uh, just uh, uh, do the needful. I will just dump the code first. And this is the mobile where I will be receiving an SMS if I touch this touch sensor. Let me dump the code first. Okay, the code has been dumped. Uh, now, let us see. Now, I will touch this touch sensor. So, the green light is on sh meaning that the SMS has been sent from this particular GSM module through this SIM to my mobile and let me see what I receive. I have received an SMS 
theft alert emergency theft alert okay so i've saved this number this gsm module number which is been displayed in this so i will do once more okay so the led has glowed and probably i will receive an sms so you can see i have received another sms i have received another sms that emergency theft alert is there okay so the entire process is fairly straightforward but the point is like we can have variety of application with this touch sensor the touch sensor is of really a uh, very good application you can think of and make uh, use in various practical applications basically so this was uh, the experiment uh, that uh, we did with uh, this touch sensor and where uh, in the previous uh, sms control we have received the data from a, a mobile number uh, to this gsm and here we are sending a data from this gsm number to uh, another mobile number thank you